So if I wanted to do a rounded slot instead of a square slot, uh, the easiest way to do this is to choose your square button again. And so what I'm going to do is uh, click on square. You'll click on a start point. Um, click on anywhere that you, that, uh, you want. And then down here, we're going to tell it the overall uh, width and the height of this, the slot. So if I want to do a um, two inch tall slot that's going to be three quarter inches wide, um, I'll do two inches for the X because that's going to be up and down, uh, 0.75 for the Y that's left and right. So you'll click check to accept that. You'll see it white out. So that's, you got the gray, that's the material you're keeping. White's the material getting cut out. Uh, so then I'm going to close out of square by clicking on square again or clicking escape. And I'm going to choose my circle. So what I want to do is hover above this part. You'll see this little symbol pop up. That means you're at the midpoint of the line. You click once, drag it over till you see this symbol. Um, this means you're at the end point. So I'll do that again down here. Click on the midpoint, move it over, click again on the end point. Close out of my circle button by clicking on the circle or clicking escape. Oh. I'm going to select my circle. I'm going to click the move button. So then after uh, you click the move button, you're going to hover above the part. You'll see this symbol pop up. That means you're at the top point, the tangent of the circle. Click once, move it down to you're at the midpoint. Do the same thing on the bottom. Just select this hole, click the move button, click on the bottom most point of that circle, move it up to the midpoint of that line. Then after that, we're going to have to clean it up. So we've got to trim some lines off. Uh, if you look up here at the, the ribbon up on, above modify, you have trim. Uh, so if you click once on the trim button, every line you hover above that becomes red and dotted, if you click on it, it's going to trim it out. So we just want to trim out the lines that we don't need. And then you just click the trim button again or escape to close out and you have your rounded slot.